Hits are gone. Emily Tyra, who is the head editor of Taste of Home, joins me to give us a guided tour. Welcome back, friend. Thank you, friend. Nice to, Good see, to you. see you. Mwah. What a pleasure to have you back. Thank you. We don't, we don't shake here. We hug. Oh, we love. Oh, we hug. We hug. <laughs> you sweet thing. Thank you. This is such a fantastic book. You know, I've been a longtime fan of, of Taste of Home. I think many of our viewers have as well. And this is a great collection of recipes. Tell me more specifically where these recipes come from. Well, I'm thrilled that we can come back with this book. These are all from home cooks across the country mm -hmm. and then we test them in our test kitchens and make sure that the nutrition facts are ready. This is the best of the best for all of you. So and you have <laughs> your chefs at Taste of Home test the recipes. Our professional test cooks. And if anything yes. has to be tweaked, it's tweaked. <laughs> Gently. So that yes. every recipe works. It will work for you every time and we make sure that they have ingredients that you would have in your pantry or in your fridge. Okay. Yes. I'm going to tell you this. Already a thousand books are gone. It's a ring binder type book so it lies flat when you work with it. That's what I love about it. It's it's yeah. a great book for for a busy home cook. It's tabbed <laughs> with all of the uh, different uh, sections. And then, of course, it lays flat like this when you're working from it. There are thir over 1,300 recipes. There are 1,200 color photos. This is extraordinary, but I want to just say that life is short. We need to eat brownie cake batter dip first. Okay. Okay? And this is a great recipe. Believe it or not, start to finish 10 minutes. So you're telling me that this is the dip that mimics brownie batter? Batter, yes. But it's so, it's safe. I can eat this. I don't absolutely. have to worry about the raw eggs and all that kind of Cream thing, right? Cream cheese, cocoa, vanilla. But what I love is that <laughs> <laughs> it came from a home cook. We tested it and made sure uh -huh. that it would be uh -huh. a delight. Mm -hmm. You crave it, you can make it 10 minutes flat. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm better. Good. Ready? Happy oh dance! Happy dance! <laughs> you guys, this is brownie batter dip. Are you yeah. kidding me? I mean, how many times did we beg mom to lick the bowl when she was making brownies? This is a whole bowl of dip. Oh my yes. gosh, that's amazing. Yes, just one of 1,300 recipes that we're so oh, proud to have sweet. in this collection. Mm. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Okay, from sweet to savory. Okay. Let's talk about this. Now, this is a chicken ranch mac and cheese from a home cook in Tampa. Let's I believe get we've a, got spoon. a serving spoon. Yeah. Yes. So let me see if I can get a little creamy bit of so this. So you just for get you. in there and and, yes. and, and just get yes. generous. Yes, and then a little bacon and crumb topping. Now this has ranch dressing along with three cheeses. And um, let's see, do you have a fork? I do, yeah, right okay, back here. Good. Um, all right, my darling. So this is three cheeses, ranch dressing. Is there some buffalo yes. flavoring in there as well? This is a, a ranch, a chicken ranch. Oh, it's yes. chicken ranch. Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. <laughs> It's made with ingredients that you have on hand. Oh, so it's got, it's, it's got chunks of chicken, too. Now chicken I see. chicken in okay. there, yes. This is from a home mm. cook in Tampa, and mm. this recipe has become like a dear friend of ours at Taste of Home. We make this when we go to our own potlucks. <laughs> so this is a buffalo chicken ranch bacon dish. All of the above, yes. Yum! <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's great. Can yeah. we talk about these crispy peanut butter sure. bars? Sure. So... This this cookbook, Simple and Delicious, it's all about simple. Okay. And so this starts with a brownie mix. Brownie, and a brownie bottom. Brownie bottom. Okay. And then a layer of peanut butter. Perfect. And then you're going to melt some chocolate chips and crispy cereal together oh, for the yes. top. Uh-huh. And... Mm. Now, see, when I saw this on the table earlier, I thought that the top would be very firm. It's not. It's, it's, it's crispy it's and crunchy. It's melty. But it's melty. Yes. And then you get a layer of peanut butter. How are you doing? And then some brownie <laughs> on the on the bottom. Okay, yeah. number two. Happy dance. Oh get it. Get it, get it, get yeah. it. That's two. Oh, my yes. word, Emily. <laughs> this is so, crazy. All right, I want to show you. Mm. 3,000 books are gone. Wow. Price goes away end of day. First of all, you are tabbed here with all the different ones. Snacks, yes. apps, and beverages. Finished in 15 minutes. Can you believe it? <laughs> 30 dinners in 30 minutes. Slow cooking. Here we are. I'll do it this way. Mm -hmm. Slow cooking mm -hmm. on the stove top, oven entree, sides and salads, fast comfort food. Love. Quick casseroles, breads made easy, and every single recipe. So simple. Mm -hmm. Nutritionals with every recipe. Yes. The book is called Simple and Delicious, and the book lies flat. 
Isn't that gorgeous? 3,200 <laughs> books are gone. You should know that this price goes away end of day today, Miss Emily. Yes. We've got it for you now. Don't miss out on this. Oh, my word. What is that? Avocado eggs on toast. Yes. Yum, right? Okay, yes. what's next? Well, the theme here is simple. So a lot of home cooks love a slow cooker yeah. for their go-to tool. This is a slow cooker turkey pesto lasagna. Oh my, look at it's, that. So you did this in the, in the slow cooker. In the cooker. slow cooker, yes. You make a little foil lining and um, everything comes out beautifully mm -hmm. when it's ready. This only takes a few hours in the slow cooker and you have a home cooked meal. This is, um, again, all the nutrition information. So when you're meal planning. And it's ground turkey. It's turkey. That's mm. right. Yeah. Oh, man, is that good. And the, and the lasagna noodles are so thin. And the filling is really lovely. It's so easy, David. You start with mm. no cooked mm. lasagna noodles. I mean, Yum. put it in and put your feet up and have dinner ready. <laughs> all right. Okay, we have now taken more orders than we have left to go around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's important to know we've now taken how many orders? 4,500. We have fewer than that to go around now. Okay. Price goes away end of day. <coughs> Pardon me, 1,300 recipes. Better to chew before you swallow. And you're going to enjoy a tremendous collection of recipes. Yes. Get a little drink of water here. 1,300 <laughs> recipes from our magazines. Um, all tested by our professional test cooks. Now we start with 8,000 books. Yeah. I have fewer than 2,800, and we oh have my. hundreds of people on the phone line sold oh out the last time on the Thank air, and they're quickly going to sell out again. Let, uh, a trivia question for you, my darling. Okay. We use donuts in my little slider burgers today. Yes. Donut holes, okay, to use as the buns. Yeah. What city has the most donut shops per capita Ooh. in the United States? Is it Chicago, New York City, Los Angeles, or Boston? Mmm, Boston. Boston is Yay! correct. <laughs> According to TriviaHive.com, the city has the most donut shops per capita than anywhere else in the world. Cool. It comes down to one donut shop for every